Hot off the press, Parallel N64 emulator recently updated. I'm going to go ahead and install and update this core that you can go ahead and do yourself right now as well. And then we're gonna go ahead and compare it now with the new RDP rendering capabilities it has and uh, play some games that typically might have skipped some frames and things like that. And then uh, we'll spend the first part of the video playing on the parallel emulator and then we'll go back to the MuPin64 with the FPS counter on and you can see the visuals yourself um, to see the difference. Good news, we have an updated parallel core for RetroArch, which is gonna run Nintendo 64 games better than ever, or at least that's what they're claiming. Now, that's amazing, and we're gonna check that out in this video, but now the not so nice so far, um, it's only going to be working with graphics cards that support the Vulkan graphics API. Now, so for this video, I'm just gonna be doing it on my own personal PC, which is running an RTX 2060 graphics card on it, and that should work for this no problem. If you're just getting started, it's very simple, um, but as far as what we're looking at here is a whole new graphics core. So you're gonna see potentially less screen tearing, you're gonna see more fluid performance. Um, it should be pretty nice. Now here's some of their benchmarks, and obviously this new RDP technology is showing to be pretty promising. Okay, so here I am in RetroArc. And as you see here, all you gotta go is into main menu. We wanna go ahead and go to the online updater. And then um, if you already have it updated, you just go here and it would update the parallel emulator because that's what you have installed. If you don't, you wanna go over to core, core updater, scroll all the way down to get down to Nintendo. And as you see here, you have three Nintendo 64 emulators. We're doing the parallel N64. Go ahead and click that. And as you see, I already have it installed, but you need to install it. Make sure your computer is connected to the internet. So let's go ahead and go into our menu here. And this is where we need to go ahead and change these new video options. So we're gonna go over to options. And here's where we wanna change it to parallel. The GFX plugin and the RSP plugin. It's gonna be set to auto on yours. Both of these are gonna say auto. Go ahead and change these down to parallel. We're gonna mess with some other settings later. The last thing I did was I changed my video drivers from GL to Vulkan and then go ahead and restart RetroArch. Quit the program and restart in. Well, I'm not getting any kind of you know frame drops. And visually, this is right on par for the course. Now, for those of you who play this on other system, on other emulators, we'll check that out towards the end of the video as well. But this is running really good. Look at these frames. There's not a single frame up. It looks decent. It's not high red. I want to say Lego Racer. somewhat somewhat correct Yeah! <laughs> 
I mean, that played. Baba. Oh, come on. Hey. For the rest of the video, I'm going to switch to the MuPin Plus emulator core to, for comparison reasons. Set, go! So there you go, some really promising performance. Now I understand the resolution was not very high and that's probably what a lot of people are gonna point out. But if you really look at the frames per second and the audio and everything else, it's really well synced. 
And for those reasons, this is really promising. I think if they, if I can, maybe it's probably an issue on my part, but or if the emulator itself can up the resolution a little bit, I think this is gonna look freaking fantastic and it's going to be some really, really great, true to the original N64 fun. So anyways, that's what I think. Let me know what you all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one.